Hey, welcome to another edition of Ask Octopus. My name's Ryan and I'm back this week with a new question and answer. Let's take a look. Our question this week builds on the one from the previous video. Last time we answered, how do I add my Azure credentials to Octopus? This time we're going to use those credentials and answer, how do I upload files to Azure Blob Storage? To do that, we'll use an Azure script step and a package containing our files. Let's start by taking a look at our Azure setup in the Azure portal. I've got a resource group and I have a storage account named Ask Octopus within that resource group. Inside of that storage account, I have a container named demo. I have an empty container. So yes, it is empty. And that is something we're about to change. In my deployment process, I'm gonna be using the Azure Storage Blob Upload Batch command. Now you can see that within this command, there are a lot of options on how you can configure and control exactly what's getting uploaded, what's getting skipped. I'm probably going to use the bare minimum for today to get it up and running, uh, but be sure to check out this page. I'll link it in the description below so you can get to it easily. Uh, but check out these options and find the ones that are right and correct for the process you want. Uh, I do also want to call it, there is another command that is sync, which would also do deletes that are thing of files that aren't there. So that may be another option you want to take a look at the sync command versus upload batch. But today I am using the upload batch command. I have an empty octopus deploy project. Let's add that upload batch command to our deployment process. So let's define the deployment process Add our first step. The step we're looking for is under the Azure category. And if we scroll down is the very first one. We want to run an Azure script that'll let us run that AZ CLI command. So we'll open that, uh, give it a name. So upload to blob storage, storage, and scroll down. Yes, I'm going to run on a worker from my default worker pool. And I'll use the AZ tools bundled with Octopus. Uh, if you want to use a different version, you can pre-install the AZ tools on your worker and choose that option. But today we are going to use the tools bundled with Octopus. And the next option is the account. What Azure account is going to be used to run this script? This is the account we set up in the previous video. So this is the app registration that has contributor rights to my resource group so that it can actually upload to those containers. So we'll choose that account and we'll scroll down. I'm gonna run this script directly from the inline editor. Uh, before I add the script, I'm gonna add a reference package. So this is a package that can be used within your script that you are creating. And this is going to be the package that has my files for blob storage. So it's just a, a small number of text files that I want to upload to uh, that container. So we'll choose that package and we do want it extracted during the deployment so that we can get to the files it contains. All right, so we've got our reference package. Let's add our script, go into full screen mode. Uh, there are a few values that I'll need to make this work. Uh, one is the account name, and that is our uh, storage account, Ask Octopus. I'll also need the container name, which is demo. Uh, now, I do have multiple environments uh, in this Octopus space, so if I wanted to upload these files and keep them separate per environment, I'm going to do that by getting the environment name and saving it into a variable that I can use as the destination path on the upload batch command. So environment, uh, and a new feature you can do within the script editor is if you hit control and space, it's going to bring up a, a insert for the variable. So I can search for environment, uh, find the one I want, hit enter, and there we go. I've got the uh, syntax for pulling in the environment name. I also need the path of the files I'm going to upload. Uh, so I'm also going to use the editor here, or not the editor, the variable selector here, and then find the one that is the extracted path. So you see that we've added this reference package. We have some values associated with it. I want to get the path of where it was extracted so that I could use that in my az command. Uh, and again, we're using az storage blob upload dash batch. So upload batch command. I want to give it a source that is going to be our path. So that's uh, the files that we are uploading. I need to give it a destination, which is going to be the container. Yes, container is the destination. I want to, again, use that environment name as 
a path within that container. So this is destination path. Destination path is going to be set to the environment name and I need to give it a account name so that it knows which storage account to, get, to go to. Uh, and that's going to be the account. Now you can also provide an account key to make it, uh, I think, more efficient to look up the account. It does some uh, Azure commands to uh, redefine the right uh, container and account if you don't provide the key. I don't have that many, so I, I'm not worried about going over any quotas, but if you do have a lot of resources in Azure, you probably want to look into getting that account key set up and then adding it to this command. Uh, the other thing I want to do is just throw on a no progress. It does tend to write the progress of the files being uploaded uh, to standard error as part of the output, and you'll get a lot of red lines in your uh, your your task log. So I'm going to do no progress to avoid that periodic writing of the progress of the upload. I believe that's it. Do we have everything? We've got our source, our destination, the path within the destination, the account, and skipping progress. I think this all looks right. Let's click done and yeah, I think the default options are good. We can hit save now. So we've got our step to upload to blob storage. Let's create a release to test it. Uh, we do have that package being selected. So we'll save this release and deploy it to dev. Go ahead, deploy now. So this will take that package, uh, upload it to our worker. And I'm on Octopus Cloud, so that's a dynamic worker. Went pretty fast. Uh, and we can see the work being done. So it's extracting that package, and it's going to start running that AZ command uh, pretty soon. And once that's done, we can hop back to the Azure portal to see that the files were uploaded. Yeah, so this is what I was mentioning before. It still does, so the, even with the no progress, it does show that the files are uploaded, uh, but they are written to standard error, so they show up as warnings. Don't worry, it's not going to fail your Octopus deployment, but it will make it show up as a uh, successful, but warnings were reported. It doesn't crash the, the step, though, or, or fail the step. If you had the progress set on, it, you would get periodic... Um, displays of like the file upload progress for your different files. Uh, so we can actually see they, these are the files that were uploaded. Um, I'm going to go ahead and promote this to test before we switch over to Azure again. But we'll do that, deploy to test, and let's switch over to Azure to look and see the files. Okay, our two deployments have finished. Let's take a look at the demo container. And if we open it up, we'll see, yes, I've got a dev and test folder set up. Uh, so this goes back to that destination path parameter I used. Uh, I used the environment name, so we have a folder for dev and a folder from test. Uh, if we open this up, we can see there's also the folder for the package name, files for blob storage. And if we open that up, we see the three files that were contained within that zip file have been uploaded to blob storage. So our files are there in blob storage just as we expected. All right, we did it. We have a simple demo for uploading to blob storage using the Azure CLI that you can use as a starting point for your deployment process. Do you have a question about Octopus? Send it to our advice mailbox and someone from our team will get you an answer. You might even see it in a future episode. Thanks for watching and until next time, happy deployments.